With the growing roster of killers on Dead by Daylight, it can be hard to know exactly which ones will be worth spending money on, or spending hours grinding for. I'm Chris from Genuine Chill, and hopefully with this video I'll be able to give you an answer to the question, should you buy? Today we're doing something a little different, as usually I cover an entire chapter, but I'm experimenting with focusing on a single character instead of two. And with that, today we are focusing on my personal favorite, Rin Yamaoka, the spirit. Or as I like to refer to her as the spooky booty. I mean, just, just look at that sight. <clears throat> so let's talk about the spirit's special power, which is called Yamamoka's Haunting. Am I pronouncing that right? Yamaoka? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, this ability allows the spirit to, well, travel to the spirit world. So when in the spirit world, you will be granted a speed boost and survivors will not see or hear a heartbeat when you get near they will instead hear the sound of the wind intensifying. Now, the important thing to acknowledge about this power is while in the spirit world, you cannot see the survivors at all, and activating this ability will cause you to stay in place and leave your physical body at that location until you transport out of the spirit world in a different location. <sighs> okay, that sounds complicated, but basically what it means is you'll leave your physical body in the spot where you activated the power while you travel as an invisible spirit in a different realm. Once you exit this realm, your physical body that you left behind will now disappear and you will now physically manifest wherever you decide to exit the spirit world. Now that we got that covered, let's talk about the usefulness of this power and let me say it has a ton of applications. With this power, you could sneak up on survivors and get as close as possible to start a chase or even in some cases, snatch them right off gens, giving you a free easy hook. But what if the survivors are already running? With the power, you may not be able to see the survivors, but you can still hear them. And the scratch marks they leave while running are still visible, meaning if the survivor is already running, you can enter the spirit world, use the speed boost, use your eyes to follow their trail, and listen to hear how close they are to your position. This allows the spirit to close the gap, even in a chase, and if the survivor already happens to be injured, it makes this tactic almost twice as effective since the survivor will be much louder. If you hate pallets and situations where survivors are waiting near the pallet so they can drop that shit on your face, you could actually still get near them, enter the spirit world, and play mind games with them. If they stay, you could pop up behind them and omaiwa mo shinderu their ass. And if they decide to run away, you can easily chase them down. If you're far away from a hook survivor, you can easily pop into the spirit world and head over to them. If someone is trying to get the rescue, you can easily ambush them and stop the save or get another hook. Basically, the spirit's playstyle is what happens if, say, the wraith and the nurse decide to have some really freaky supernatural sex and the spirit is what happened to come out of it months later. The only downside to the spirit is she's slightly slower than other killers being as fast as the huntress and hag and she can still be body blocked and pallet stunned in the spirit world. Actually, in fact, I've had moments where I was teleporting and got stuck only to come out of it and smack a very unlucky survivor who didn't know what was going on. Now let's move on to her perks, starting with Spirit Fury. Spirit Fury activates after you break 4, 3, and 2 pallets depending on the tier of the perk. Once you break these pallets, the next time you are stunned by a pallet, the pallet will break automatically upon hitting you but you will still suffer the stun effect. If you are someone who gets hit by pallets often, I, I highly recommend this perk. And if paired up with Enduring, you're almost guaranteed to get a free hit on the survivor. However, this perk's usefulness depends on the killer you play. If you play killers where you negate the pallets, such as the Huntress, Doctor, Nurse, and even the Spirit, this perk isn't very important for you. However, on the flip side, if you play an aggressive high pressure killer, such as the Hillbilly, Leatherface, and Legion, then you are more than likely to eat your fair share of pallets, and you may want to consider the Enduring combo in your build. Next we have a new hex perk called Haunted Ground. When Haunted Ground is active, there will be two trapped hex totems added to the map. When one of the hex totems is cleansed, all survivors will suffer from the exposed status effect for 40, 50, or 60 seconds, meaning all hits will automatically down them. However, once one of the two trapped totems is cleansed, the other is removed from the map. This is a situational perk as there is always a chance that no one will cleanse it or maybe you won't run into anyone, but when the perk works, it really does its job and can give you easy hooks. If you're someone who likes to run hex builds, this will make survivors think twice about destroying your ruin or devour hope until they absolutely have to. It's a good perk in its own right and I recommend you give it a shot. 
And finally, we have a new obsession perk called Rancor. With Rancor, you will become obsessed with one survivor, and every time a generator is completed, your obsession will see your aura for 5, 4, or 3 seconds, and you will be able to see all survivors' locations for 3 seconds. Note that I did not say aura for the killer when he sees survivors. The locations of the survivors will be revealed to you, but it will be like a doctor insanity notification. And only the last known position will be visible to you, and not an actual aura, say like barbecue and chili. Along with this, if all gens are completed, your obsession will gain the exposed status effect, and you can kill them once they are down, meaning you get a free mori at the end of the game if the survivor is still alive. This perk works great with high mobility killers or stealth killers in general like Wraith, Nurse, Freddy, Spirit, Legion, and Billy since you can see a survivor's last position and close the gap as quick as possible before they have a chance to get far away. The more you are given at the end is situational but it's nice to kill a survivor yourself every now and then and not to mention if they are running decisive to strike you can ignore them for the whole game, down them at the end and make that strike useless because you're just going to kill them on the floor instead of picking them up. And that covers the spirit, so before we go, let's recap. The spirit's ability allows her to be stealthy and apply pressure at the same time. If you enjoy either of those playstyles along with the ability that has tools to handle multiple situations, I highly recommend the spirit. The spirit's perks apply to a wide range of playstyles. If you play multiple different killers, her perks offer a good variety that can apply to a majority of the killers on the roster. Not to mention, she's got a nice visible ghost booty for you to enjoy at the main menu screen. <laughs> and also, actually also at the time of this video, it has been announced that Spirit will get a schoolgirl outfit. And well, um, the benefits of that speak for themselves. Okay, the next is a weird one because it's good and bad, which has never really happened on these videos. But if you do not have headphones, you are not using the Spirit to her full potential. Sound is very important to Spirit's tracking and chasing aspect of her ability. With headphones, she is dangerous, but without them, you may not, you may be at a slight disadvantage, and like I said, you may not be using her to her full potential. And finally, while Spirit is a very well-rounded killer, I have to say she isn't a beginner-friendly killer, because she requires map awareness, knowledge of how survivors play to effectively beat them at mind games, and most importantly, skilled in the chasing aspect of the game. If you're not confident in your chasing abilities, I recommend holding off on Spirit until you feel better about your chasing skills. And that covers the recap for the Spirit, who personally has become one of my favorite killers to play. The next should you buy will be dependent on what y'all want to see. I've seen more requests for killers and survivors, so I may hold off on survivors for a bit unless there is one y'all really want to see. With this, please know I am holding off on Freddy because he is confirmed for a huge rework even though it's taking fucking ages for that to happen. And if I make a video now, it might be irrelevant later if Freddy is completely changed. The same goes for Legion because while I feel like they won't get a full on rework like Freddy, they might get buffs and nerfs that will significantly change their playstyle. So I, I, I just want to wait and see. So for now, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Anyways, I'm Chris from Genuine Chill. If you like the video, you should like the video because we're a small ass YouTube channel and we could really use the help. And if you want to stop by at our Twitch channel, we play a variety of games from Dead by Daylight to Monster Hunter World. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.